what do you need to know this is a channeled tarot reading for you there's a reason that you've been brought here today so we're going to channel this message this message was meant to find you welcome back to hope tarot daily my name is angie i'm a tarot card reader from england this tarot reading is between you the universe and your intuition and it's really up to you if you claim it or not um it's timeless, so it's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. So what does the universe, guides, angels want you to know? Why have you been brought here today? I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Authority. Okay, fertility, wow. Patience and planning, okay, okay. Wow, right out of the gate. Um, I think that may be a very clear message for uh, who... This first bit may be a very, very clear message. If you've been waiting for this message, take it. You know what it is. Within a circle of protection, I want the charms to give as more information um i've got little channeled notes in there i sat in the garden and channeled all the messages and every little thing that popped in my head i wrote on a little bit of paper and put it into here and over the next few months we're going to be pulling them they will come out at the right time so for the circle of protection we want the charms to do their thing okay wow well, we've got quite a few look right we put that out of the way so what do we need to know i think about the things that you told me okay that's nice what did you tell them we don't have to don't put it in the comments if you don't want to um six weeks well that's a very clear message if we're going to put that on the fertility card um, and we have I'm really liking doing these channel channeled messages you know I'm always around you that's really nice patience and planning we have your classical angel here i think this is the most amount of charms that have come out since we've started doing them this way we have a little black cat the black cat always sits next to the queen of wands um we have a golfer someone that's quite active and sporty if they're not sporty they're interested in it we have a key for the future key for the door key for a new home maybe and we have a blue star i'm gonna put that on the fertility as well that may be a very clear message for somebody i'm gonna pull some charms for zodiac signs as well Okay, we've just got one and some letters. And then we'll do a Celtic cross. So what's the affirmation going to be for today? I reclaim my abundance. I claim growth and abundance, joy and happiness. That's quite a lot. So pick one of them. Do you claim, reclaim your growth, your abundance, your joy or your happiness? If you want to claim all of them, claim all of them. If you have a different affirmation that you want to have today, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. While you're there, put a like on reading in exchange for the reading or to support the channel, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Share this channel with somebody who you know is interested in tarot. And there may well be a message here for them somewhere. Private readings are available. Okay, we've got all of that out of the way. So we have a Libra, maybe you. Maybe them, maybe something else. We have a Z. Put that on there. Patience and planning. Sometimes it can be a bit boring. We have a D. An N. A T. And we have a C. So I'm going to do a Celtic cross. See what other information you need. Um, I'm just sat here smiling. Feels like a nice relationship. It feels like children being brought into the world, pets, children's business ideas as well. Fertility can be about anything that grows, 
anything that grows. We've got the three and the four. Um, we've got the... Yeah, it's just nice, isn't it? It's very nice. They think about the things that you told them. What did you tell them? Don't tell me, though, if you don't want to. So that just blew away as i done that. That's spooky. Keep it private, maybe. You can split the deck into four, four elements. Four seasons, most importantly for angels. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. The king of pentacles. Very much like the authority card, isn't it? Stability. Stability will come with time. Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't know why that's come out, but we've got the ten of swords. He may have been at this point before, and it just... It just spiralled and went away. Um, it, it feels like a mixture of one instability, but also pain as well. The fear of losing something just before you get it. The fear of going back around in circles. Things will happen when they're meant to happen. Um, the Ten of Swords. We can either let go of the Ten of Swords and push, push the pain and heal and all of the things or we can hold on to the ten of swords and sabotage and hold on to the pain it's i like this ten of swords because it's letting it go um and there's someone around you that's very supportive of you and it feels like a professional person to be honest it feels like i don't know if it's a doctor a clinician a therapist um someone that you work with but it feels like someone who's in a profession who is um not like involved in your personal life they're they're involved with you but not with your personal life so we have that so the ace of wands is the creation of new things and the spark in the beginning and the ability to create new things the hermit yeah having that light inside you and, and growing it's disappearing the hermit in this reading it feels for me it's like disappearing into a cave and and growing like your inner peace and growing your inner knowledge and then coming back out and being a beacon of light for other people um, behind you is the Six of Cups. There's memories here that are good and bad. With the Ten of Swords, it's telling me there's memories here that are painful, but also there's memories here that are good. And there's the the reason that you're on this path is because you want to create more good memories and you're really praying that no more bad memories are going to come. Um, the Eight of Wands, once things get moving, they'll get moving quite quickly. You may have some good news coming in over the next six weeks. Um, or you may be having good news that you want to share with other people. Um, yeah. And there may be someone who you were really hoping to share this news with who isn't around anymore. And they want you to know that they are around and they do know and they probably know before anybody else. And they're really happy um, just because... Yeah, they're not here. They are here. Just talk to them. Or they the watch over you. They know it all anyway, you know. You know. The responsibility. Can you... Are you able to take on this responsibility? Yes, you are. More than able. The secret question. This card's all about the secret question. Um, The fear sometimes. Can I do what I need to do? Is it going to be too much? No. You're more than capable. You've got determination, ambition, and you're going to be successful. Um, time and honest is a star things happen for a reason you are going to be blessed with it um, at the right point and there's a reason for that um, if we're talking about pregnancy which I don't really like doing readings on pregnancy but it may be that there's someone being brought into this life and it's just been a case of waiting for that soul to be ready to be brought into that life so I'm going to put that to one side but that's just something that came in um, I don't do private readings on um, pregnancy at all. It's not something I like to touch, uh, mainly for my own triggers more than anything else. Um, but the star is about healing, cleansing, having faith and moving forward and knowing that you're being guided in the right direction. There may well be a past life connection here as well. And in time, that will become more clear. Attainment on this... <laughs> beautiful queen of cups love compassion affection and the four of wands marriage house moves celebrations people being happy for you you being happy for you um yeah 
it's really nice isn't it feels like a solid thing here moving to the future not moving too quickly but we've got the eight of wands there's some new bubbling that's coming to the surface um if they come back in six weeks come back in six weeks and give me an update because i'm just nosy to be honest um so i hope the right person finds this reading and i genuinely hope that it is taken by the right person um and i know like the regular purple hearts here will be very happy even if it's not their reading they'll just they're so supportive they're wonderful i see you talking to each other in the comments it's great um there's a lot of good things. This is a very positive reason. And it comes from a place of fear. It comes from a place of, you know, life hasn't been great and life hasn't been perfect, but things are going to get better. And any bump in the road, you have to put the star into play and think, OK, now may not be the time, but my time will come. Um, and there's a reason for it. There's a greater reason for it. And it may be a reason that you just don't even understand. Um so I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels take you on your way. If you like private reading, they are available. I don't do private readings on health or pregnancy, so don't book it for that because I'll just refund you because <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm not. Um, and I can't do, I don't do readings on pregnancy because of my own life experience. I don't like bringing certain things up for myself my own well-being i can only be a good reader for people if i don't trigger my own triggers um so there's that if you're a purple heart welcome i hope you have an amazing day today do something kind for you something kind for somebody else and go to bed early or something go and have a long hot bath go and have an hour to yourself somewhere reading whatever it is shut yourself away music whatever it is that makes your heart sing appreciate an hour to yourself today if you can even if it's just going to bed for an hour earlier um yes yeah, that's the message of the day maybe i need an early night that's not going to happen but you know i will see you soon